Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome on the Culture News. My name is David Cerebro, and I have the pleasure to have over the phone a wonderful, wonderful, very talented actor. His name, ladies and gentlemen, is Kobe Ryan McLaughlin. He is absolutely, absolutely wonderful. And you have seen him, watch him on several TV series, including a lot of my favorites, I must say, General Hospital, but also The Young and the Restless, NCIS, New Orleans, and many, many, many other great work. He is now starring in this amazing new movie called Polaris, uh, really, not long time ago, uh, about a year or so ago. Uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful drama, and he's absolutely splendid in it. Over the phone. Very busy man, and we're so lucky to have him over the phone, Mr. Mr. Cubby Ryan McLaughlin. How are you today, Cubby? David, I am fantastic. Wow, thank you so much for that uh, that stellar introduction. Boy, I, I hope I can live up to it. No, you you will, you will, I promise you, <laughs> <laughs> and you deserve it, and you deserve it. Trust me. So, uh, before we start to talk about all the great things that you have done, I would love to know about yourself. Can you tell us where you're from and what brought you to acting? Sure. Um, I was born and raised in Los Angeles. I'm a California native, and it's the family business. So um, my dad was a production sound mixer and boom operator. My uncle was a camera operator and a dolly grip. And I started um, I started in my late teens, early 20s in camera. So I started scrubbing camera cases and, and making the DP drinks and ordering the, the, the first AD's plane tickets when I wanted to go see the Cleveland Browns play. And that's how I started. And then I went to a company called Panavision and I learned how to, uh, I learned how to take cameras apart and clean movements and set flange depths and shit like that. And I, um, I became a camera assistant. So I did wow. that for, yeah, I did that for about three or four years and then decided I need to get in front of it. And I met my coach, my first acting coach, a guy named John Homa. Back in the mid '90s, I was a I was a host at a restaurant in Southern California, and he walked in, and we shared an affinity for Penn State games because we both went to school there. And he told me what he did, and I I told him I wanted to come and I wanted to I wanted to check out class and I wanted to be an actor. And he said, "You can be an actor. You can come to my class if you answer one question." And I'm going to think about this question. You don't have to answer it now, but if you give me the right answer, you can come to class. And I said, okay, what, what, what do you, what do you want to know? And he said, why do you want to be an actor? And he goes, and I want you to think about this because it's a very important question. So I did. I, I thought about it for about a, a couple of weeks. He came back a couple of weeks later and, uh, and I told him, you know, and I did, I really thought about it. I thought, wow, why, why do I want to do this? Do I want to do this because I want to be on magazine covers and I want to be famous or why do I want to do this? And, it had been something I always wanted to do, and it always spoke to me. So I just decided to be honest, and I said, "Because I want to do this because it's the only thing I've ever wanted to do, and I want to learn how to do it. I want to, I want to be great. I want to be great at it." And I said, "It's a passion. I just want. I've always wanted to do it." And uh, and he said, "All right, come to class." And I came, and there was everybody in in Hollywood. Every young actor in Hollywood in the early '90s was there. It was amazing. Jonathan Tucker was there, and Freddie Prince Jr. was there, and that's where he met Sarah Michelle Gellar and and, and Tina Majorino and Kristen Dunst. I was in class with all these people in this small little shitty backhouse studio in Burbank, California, and that's how I uh, that's how I got my start. And then I busted my ass for wow. a decade. Yeah, I, I, I was no, a and that and and really, I think the the way you answer really defines you so well because. You, if we just, you know, I always say the resume speaks for itself, you know, and and we can tell that you are someone that is really passionate because you're someone that is here to stay and who works on the long term with people. You know, this is why you have worked uh, a lot on these wonderful TV series and you've been called again because, you know, you're someone where it feels good to have you around, you know. So, no, thanks, man. <laughs> no, no, really, really. So, um, uh, so that's really a good thing. So now that we're moving on to this amazing new movie, Polaris. So this movie is directed by uh, Suda B. Moradian, Moradian, yeah. I hope I pronounced it right, and mm-hmm. uh, produced by this amazing lady, uh, Christina Jolie. So can you tell us how you got approached for that movie first? So I got a call from my agent. 
at the time, and uh, he said, listen, um, they can't find this guy. They're looking for a guy, and they can't find him for this movie, and it starts, it starts in like three days. So I've set up a meeting. What are you doing right now? And I'm like, oh, uh, nothing. And he goes, great. I want you to meet the director at this restaurant. Go talk to him and see if you want to do this project because they, uh, they need to find their guy. So Sunilva and I, we, we met and we, uh, we started chatting and we had this wonderful three-hour conversation um, about this. She, they had sent me the script and I had read it about this guy and this movie and what she wanted to do. And the people who were um, the people who were were already attached to it. Now I had known Alicia Batleta's work, um, and I had known Elizabeth Rome's work, and the chance to get to work with these guys. I had never met Baram before, but to to work with these guys, I was like, wow, okay, this is going to be this is going to be a lot of fun, and it gave me an opportunity to do something that I had never done before. And I I, I really what I really liked most about it was the stillness. Within this, uh, within this character, because up until then, the things that I I had gravitated towards and been hired to had been pretty manic and and pretty slick, and this uh, this was really grounded and still, and uh, there was a lot of depth to it, and there was a lot of pain in this guy too, which I thought would be really would be really interesting. There's a lot of places to go with it, so that's how the whole thing came about, and then I literally went wow. to work. Shit, I went to work the day after. And wow. We shot, for, we shot for 14 days. You did it fast. Yeah, but, you fast. know, when you have great people such as yourself and the cast, you know, you guys know what you're doing and the great director and great producing team, you know, now, you know, in 14 days, you can accomplish such great miracles such as this one. Yeah. And, oh, you know, it's really, it's really wonderful. And it's not, you know, it's, it, it's a dark movie, but has... So much hope in it. So it's, it makes me think of a painting uh, by Rembrandt, you know, where it, it looks dark, but, you know, there's so much light into it and so much beauty. This is really a movie that uh, you can purchase uh, now that uh, if you're a distributor and you're listening, this is a movie that you should definitely have in your movie Uh, uh, theater, you can purchase it with our dear friends of Amazon. Um, but really, it's, it's really, really, really um, a, a great movie. So before we start to say uh, goodbye to each other, what, what are you doing next? So General Hospital has got me, uh, they got me tied up for the next couple of years. I had never done daytime television before. And once again, this offer just kind of fell into my lap. And, and um You know, interesting thing about your career, and, and one of the interesting things about doing this for a living is that you, you know, sometimes you get to work a lot, and sometimes you don't get to work at all. <laughs> so, I, just think it's a little bit <laughs> I, I know about that. <laughs> and when this and when this came along, it was the opportunity for me to dive into something for the long term. And you know, you brought up an interesting point earlier in my introduction. I've been doing this now for 25 years, and the thing that now really appeals to me is being becoming a journeyman at this and doing a whole bunch of different things. The people that I really admire and that I really like are guys and girls, are, are, are ladies and gentlemen who, who go out and do a lot of different varied things. And I think that in this line of work, it's the only way to stay relevant and to and to stay in the game forever. And that's and that's where I want to be. So when the opportunity came up for me to do daytime and for me to for for me to do this, um, I jumped at it. And it was the scariest thing I had ever done. It's completely different from anything remotely related to anything that I was I was um, familiar with. So I'm going to be doing that for the next couple of uh, next couple of seasons. So yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be posted up at wow. ABC two to three o'clock, two to three p.m. ABC oh, we, we, Friday. We will be there to watch you for sure. And and really, what what a great personality you have, and what a great actor and artist you 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 are, and what a beautiful dedication. And I'm sure your 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 dad, right, who brought you to this uh, uh, business, must be. Uh, really, really proud of you, you know, of what, of all the things you have done because you really live up to it, definitely. So, oh, thank uh, you so much. No, no, thank you. And I want you to know, Fabi, this is your show. This is your radio. You have the keys. You can come anytime. You can call anytime. Any of your projects, I want you to know, 
I will be there to uh, at the first row to uh, support you. And of course, we say hello to our dear friend Christina uh, Jolie, who is a phenomenal producer. Um, ladies and gentlemen, my name is David Sarivo. I had the pleasure to have to go on iHeartRadio. The very, very super talented Kobe Ryan. Mark Laughlin, uh, who is starring in this amazing movie called Polaris, Polaris, P-O-L-A-R-I-S. You can purchase the movie in all the great platforms. More music to follow up on iHeartRadio. Stay tuned.